Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Car Shark Let's Play, and I hope you're ready for some serious gambling, as we're gonna be going back to the gambling house with a minimum bet of 270. In between episodes, we hit up the theater and make quite the bank, betting about 600 per hand, and we have 2,400 to kind of play this game here, and we should be fine. Let's see how we do here. We're now being called as Eugene. Something's wrong. Let's see what is wrong. Going back to Baron. We got cheated here last time. Revenge on Law. Disguises. He's going to be a Duke, and we're going to be a lady again. Graciela. A twin deck stack. Let's see what that is. All right, we'll peek. This we know how to do. All right, this is the same thing. What is new is the twin deck. Two aces for him and. Actually, we want to give him high cards, that way he bets more. Two kings for our opponent. Alright, let's practice. Let's see if we can find his hand. Sometime it takes a while to figure out exactly what we're looking for. Wait, seriously? Oh, there it is. We're looking at four spades. We have to get the deck from him. And now we have to stack. Alright, so we want the kings as the first card, and then followed by an ace, a random card, and then we want to look for another king, followed by another ace, and whatever, this will work. Everyone gets pairs, everyone go broke. Mirror and the fan. I mean, that's technically what we did before. I don't know why it wasn't named that as such last time we were here. Actually, last time we were in the Schloss where we did this. All right, we have arrived back at the gambling house. Is he going to be in disguise to be Duke? Oh, he is! Oh, Serion's the guy who we met at the inn. I guess he's a loser. Sarian's gonna be a problem here, I'm sure. I guess we drag him in. Silas Dian. Alright, he is back, and he's suspecting a few things. All 
All right, we're gonna move to the other side. And we are wagering lots of money here. The stakes are as high as they've ever been. Oh, there they are. I'm looking at three spades. Citizen of the Americas. I mean, this is a little early for independence. This is a discussion in 1743. I guess we'll let that slide. That's we gotta find cards. There they are. Another three spades. The bar is going pretty fast. And we haven't even cooked the deck yet. Here we go. That young gentleman's probably gonna follow us to the other room. Or block us. Okay, he didn't follow us, but I, I suspect otherwise. Alright, looking for a king, followed by a nice ace. Come on, ace. Alright, random card. We saw a king earlier. Followed by ace, random card, finalize, gotta hurry up. That bar is almost finished. Oh, give it up. We are in trouble. Look at his hair. Without the wig, without either wig. Okay, we should just run away like what he did to us. up losing a little here or no actually we go even the gambling house I write this in a face stiff with makeup the comp sleeps I try to dab at his bloody nose and received a slap for my efforts truth is the comp deserved a punch from Syrians I set him on a path to ruin shocking to see his face destroyed by drink and his eye his eyes I'll never forget so the poor guy started gambling and started losing I guess All right, let's see what's available to us now. Pompadour Saloon. We're going to Paris, our entryway after our chateau meeting. 80 is the bet. And we're in chapter four, the choice. We swallow greedily any lie that flatters us, but we sip only little by little at a truth we find bitter. Indeed. We're approaching the end. We're going to Paris to meet our dad, who is not going to like us. 
I mean, the comp clearly wants to use us to get back into power at Versailles. He, he missed being the center of attention. And we're here to charm the king's favorite Madame de Pompadour right now. All right, what are we doing this time? A palm glimpse. Okay. Break the top and bend the bottom. So peak. Okay, I mean, the controls are at least easy. The timing may be a little bit more difficult. And then we're going to pinch those two cards, I guess. Alright, sometimes we'll peak two high cards, but often we won't. Okay, it would also display the cards for us. I think we remember the pinch last time. Alright, so he's in the first position here. Do we... Don't we want to shuffle first? Right, don't we have to do this? Now the problem is we need to give him additional cards... Wait, we're going to end up squeezing it all the way down. Hold on, this is just wrong. We're just going to reset. I'm going to try this one more time. I think we need three cards first. Well, but not from the top, right? So we're pushing the king over. Okay, I, I think I get it. I'm gonna try this again. I mean, I'll take a hint. Right? Oh! Wait. So, we want to do this? No, I don't think we do the in jog, we just do the four. This has to be done. I think we pinch right away. Now we're good. Okay. All right. Okay, we always have to start like this. That 10 is going towards our other guy. So we want one, two, pinch. Huh. We're not wrong. We just did it slower than it could have been done. Uh, 
want to try this again. I think... Ooh. Oh, we can practice with different variations. Oh, there's going to be so many different combos then. We want them together. Oh, no, we don't. We want them four apart. Hold on, reset. Okay, I kind of get the idea here, but kind of want to... Let, let's just go for it. And then there's also a false cut at the end. Oh, this is complicated. In terms of just timing of suspicion. Alright, first we have to peek. And then we have to peek. And then we want to give both bad cards to him. So we're doing three in between. Uh, yeah, three in between. A pinch. And then we want one more block in jog. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And then we also have to give it a false cut at the end here. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Alright, let's see this Madame Pompadour, our dad's new fling. We have some very nice new clothes back in Paris now. Casanova, he's our introduction. Short hair. Well, I guess most would be short hair to wear those wigs. But she's not wearing any wig. Hair looks nice. All right, we can't increase the bet. All right, so we are gonna do them together, which means we need three cards in between, a pinch, and then a shift. Lock that in. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, back to the top. Nice and easy. It is a war, and we only won a battle. And McGregor is here. We are in trouble, I guess. But we're not stopping yet. Alright, this time we want both cards to be with our man. That was quite easy. We haven't got any weird combinations of one high, one low just yet, but uh, we will, I'm pretty sure. Julie is also here. She'll help us counteract McGregor, I guess. All right, we got the one high, one low situation. Uh, they are two cards apart, I think. One. Two inch. Oh, we messed this up. We messed this up. Okay, so we want to go down. Then we're looking at four cards apart, or just maybe one card apart. 
Uh, also messed this up. So if Jack is next, it should just be like this. Keep thinking the seven's gonna hit first, but it's the other way. All right, pretty lenient with the with the bar on that sequence or that part of the trick. Or else we would have been in trouble. Right, she can't afford to make the next next bet, which would be 640. So she leaves, and uh, we might get a engagement with McGregor. Behave. Hmm. Uh-oh. Signed by the king. They're basically blackmailing him and the king. I guess see if he's the spy master. gonna be plotting against us I'm pretty sure this is now a political negotiation he wants something he has something to offer his bargaining chip is us he's gonna sell us Right, and? And you're gonna say yes to this? Annuity and some land. Hmm. But we're not his son, that's the thing. Okay, I mean, the comp know this, right? We know McGregor's a spy master for the king, and that if we come to Paris, it's gonna be like this. Don't believe him. I think this is another case of recoiling or slapping someone in the face. One path will lead to our death, and one path will carry the story on. I think I'm gonna kill him. There's no reason why, or beat him at least, there's no reason why we should leave our life in his hand with a surrender. I mean, if we're wrong, we will just reset, but I don't think I'm wrong here. Alright, middle, low, high. Middle, high, high. And then middle. Triple high, one middle. Right, we don't get to attack him here. Maybe on this one? Low, high, high, middle, low, okay. Low, high, high, middle, and then we're gonna go middle here, we're gonna win. Do you surrender? We have to surrender. 
Not a choice. Maybe I misread it. Or I didn't. But I guess we don't die? Right, he sold us out. I mean, it's not hard to tell. Ernest was the guy with the baby. At least we get more of the story. Sophie was betrayed too. How? She died during childbirth, no? Mother Superior. Wait. Ernest was disguising as Mother Superior. Did they kill my mother as well? Alive and well. Okay, this part's the same. What's different? They're a bottle. What is this? And he ran away with us. Pitied her. I mean, Louis the Fifteenth became king at a very young age and had a regent where his grand uncle, you know, Philip the Second was the region for a while and the loyalists you know wanted him to get married pretty quickly and i think they, they listed out so many princesses in europe and they ended up picking a polish one i believe but what does this have to do with sophie i mean he was very young at the time i think he was like not even a teenager so this marriage storyline time-wise doesn't really match up so we're dead we're dead for good Fair to we won. We actually did die. Oh, there's a hand. Do we get to live here? Oh, this this time is different. The Lady of Bones. Alright, she's death. Do we maybe play a game of cards with her and try to live again? Okay, so we do have to die here. We do have to get betrayed. And we get to revive knowing the truth or more of the truth. We do get to play something. Maybe three card Monty? What is this? They all look the same. This one has, I mean, they, they all look the same. Is it a good card? Is it a bad card? I'm gonna assume that's a bad card. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess we hide one now in our hand, toss the other two. I mean, we haven't done anything. They're the same cards. Okay, now what? So they'll catch us cheating. Oh, we get rescued. The hand saves us. Patience. 
Just sitting around, I guess. We get to see how our mother actually died. The boy who lived. Wait, wait, no, that's us. Ooh, the world is unhinged. Comp killed her. Now we're seeing our mother's death, but we don't know who actually did it. The king, Comte, or perhaps Erdnes. Of course, our grandmother is the one who saves us. Who did she save? Oh, she's mentioning her youth. So Deborah's not only our aunt, but she's also our twin sister, oh, our mother's twin sister. Okay, okay. I mean, like, the stories just don't match up. You know, Voltaire wasn't Voltaire when she had her kids. You know, the, t the timing here is just really off, but okay. Sophie became a favorite, and Deborah escaped to the Americas. Fallen for the king. Then what, what should she have done? Uh, there's our aunt. Right, we're betrayed by both. I guess we don't like this name anymore because the comp gave us this. I mean, he was always a bad guy. But he's now the one who betrayed us, so we're gonna go after the Count. Is she gonna be the one teaching us tricks now? can't talk that's such a easy giveaway but we are gonna get taught a trick here the stained deck we're gonna mark things again a secret tech Alright, seated at a table with makeup. Ace is in the corner, and it's just a clockwise motion. Guess we're doing blue or black. All 
Alright, we're only going to mark the really low cards. I think the game froze. Oh, there we go. We're back. The smeared fan. What does the fan have to do with this? Okay. Yes, we do. Second deal and such. Of course, she has to dress up too, or else, you know, Julie, who else can it be? I like the homeless guy in the middle there. He wants to play with a king. We're going to take his spot, I think. Oh, Julie is going with the a male look. Count Orloff. The wife. Alright, we're commanded not to say a word to the man. Alright, set on betting 140. It's a six of heart. We have to know the suit, right? We have to see every card and memorize them. Nine of spades. One heart, one spade. One club. Three of club. Very small. Four of diamonds. He has one of each suit. I guess the last card is going to determine it. Queen of spades, so two spades it is. And then we want to mark our cards. We want to go with the red. Queen. Let's do a three. Uh, two, three. Okay, it should be the same position. Oh, it tells us, so we don't have to memorize that part. Okay. I mean, our hand's very dirty after all of that. Can last three rounds like this. Seven of heart. One hearts. Seven of diamond. Seven of club. Ten of clubs. So we are two clubs right now. A diamond and a heart, I believe. Two heart. Two club. I think we can do the club marking. I'm guessing the dealing trick will come in on the third round, but his suspicion bar is ready quite high.
Why did they all still have five cards and I have two left? Alright, this is when we do our deal. Ooh, okay, second deals and red cards are good, black cards are bad. Black cards to him, red cards to Julie. Oh, we're still marking. What happened to the deal? Maybe after this? Alright, perfectly have two low cards and two high cards every time. We would have marked, you know, 12 cars by now. All right. Uh, I think I see that's red, right? So we kind of want to deal it to her. So do we second deal here? I don't know. Let's let's try it. I also can't tell if it's red or black. That's black. Okay. Give her the red. Give her the red. Give him the black. How do we lose that? Okay, I like how the bar is going well, but how do we lose that? We dealt correctly. Does he have to get more bad cards? I will right, we'll try to make sure he gets all the bad cards. I can't skip cards infinitely. We'll have more time to think about it this time, at least. I mean, in a sense, we can't wait that long with the dealing timing anyways. Alright, so she gets card first, right? So we second deal her here. That's great. There we go. Got to give him all the back cards. He's out of cash. He can't play the next hand. I mean, our goal can't be, yeah, can't be just to win his money. Or does miracles. All right, we're in the slums. Is that Inario right there with the cane or no? Oh, the magician. Is he in on the job too? King of Thieves, okay. Okay, so he's on our side.
Right, he's paid off for sure. What did he want? The invitation to play at the king's table. He's gonna fight us. What's the last wish? A last trick. This too is a trick for sure, but uh, it's a game and we don't have a choice here. All right, what's the strategy? So we had to hold this. And, oh, there's no bounce back there. This doesn't feel like a very fancy technique. The shark deal. The bottom deal, right? Right, it's a bottom deal. that we're still dealing to him kind of bothers me the comp's gambit all right king of thief also missing a leg Scenario, right. Missing a leg. So he's the one behind all of this, but uh, I guess Comp used this incorrectly.
Alright, this is the bigger twist. It's fortune and disgrace from Versailles. And who are you? Ah, he's the man who took the kid away. Erdness. Did you poison our mother? Right, he did. Alright, make her disappear. The baby died. That's why she's so distraught. So the baby died, and he just said it's a mute because the baby died. So perhaps Sophie's still alive. How did he lose a leg? Right, so he's betraying us here. Or betraying Erdness, not us. That explains why Inario can groom him. And know the secret. I guess his leg was injured on the escape. Definitely looks broken. That's Miss Porterhouse. Everyone's dead. All right, so we're just an orphan. We're basically pawns. Okay, that's how he lost his leg. Go to Versailles and finish this. Is there a choice? Exactly. I mean, that has nothing to do with us. Although if we kill everyone on this table, especially Erdness and all these poor people, uh, we basically can live like Julie's grandson and be a nobility.
You would cheat to suggest feelings and emotions. Okay. I'll mention your target. And I'll hint at the nature of the cards I need you to steal and distribute. Our dear alchemist is in very strong shape today. Did you pick a pair of lucky clovers this morning? So we need to give him two clovers. Hi, clubs. Okay. Your majesty, if we give the king, I wish you strength of hearts, so hearts for the king. And it's fortunate you have McGregor by your side during this dark, lowly period. So, low cards of spades, I guess? Or club. Good, there's options there. And I'm pretty sure the game will prompt us with those icons. Adjustments? Two cards. So we're not doing the top stacking thing. Okay, so he's gonna do the cutting. Ah, he has a special trick. Okay, that we can do. Ernest may be helping you now, but give it time and you'll see his feeble moral standards and how red his hands are. The red low cards? Then we basically grab the five. Then we have to gather another one of these for him as the first card. So like something like this. How do we shuffle this? Oh, that's... Wait, that's just the same as a regular shuffle. cards per additional player? So we need six. Out jog. Okay. Uh, I mean, sure, I mean, I can do the out jog. That naturally just does it. Opposite direction for the out jog, and that's it. Let's 
So every other player, we need to drop one card each. Drop everything up to the break. Okay, now we have to in jog, right? Or offset. Now it's one, two, three, and then we're good. All right. I mean, it works. Just a lot of steps. Okay. Not the two we picked earlier, but still two. I mean, it's a six, it's a different example. Oh, well, there's more to it. Reverse cutting? I mean, we've done this before. Okay, so it's basically red. Low red. Then another low red. Do this, and then it's a two card drop for each additional player. So we're doing a six card drop, and then now out jog, and then we shuffle through, get a good pinch, drop everything. Then we want to do three cards for the three players in front of him. And then we shuffle the card over, and then we pull the four, and then we now push the cards to our target player, seal the position, shuffle back, and then undo the cut. And then we deal. That's only our 26th trick, so there's still two more somewhere. This is not the end yet. Two different targets. So we have to make up that part ourselves. Let's practice that. Right, so one card to each. It's a shuffle. There's a space between the two of them, but I don't think it matters. Do we do it for only the two players not involved, perhaps? I'm gonna test this theory out. And then... We peel... I mean, it's the spacing between the two, so it technically should just be one of them, right? They're two positions away. Right now I'm giving them three positions away. Which is wrong. Right, this is wrong. The gap, the gap is wrong. I think slotting six, six card here is fine. Alright, it's so L jog, that part is fine. We shouldn't do the four. 
Here's the tricky part. Between the five and the jack should just be one card. So we want to throw one card and then throw them over, but that, that's four in between, right? Oh, we want to throw in enough so there's only one between them. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. In jog. Right. A gap of one position. So we have to peel every single card until there's only one here, and then we pull, and then we. Ah, uh, I hit the wrong button. But we we got we got the proper one. No, no, no. Let's let's do it one correctly. Make sure we got this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jog. Then it's one, two, three, four, five, down, up. And then we reset to here. And we're good. Alright, stick to the plan. Drama to witness. Alright, so I think this is where we're gonna leave this episode and end things. As we'll come back and visit Versailles and our not father as we're just a random orphaned mute and try to pull off our last trick and see how the story resolves. So until then, bye!